Welcome to Wen Place Skyrim. This is episode two, and I'm freezing in the rain. Um, and I bet something is attacking me. I think the music changed just a little bit. Okay. Oh, is it an arrow? That was an arrow sound. Is that a... Whoa! Somebody shot something or threw a... Oh, what is going on with that? Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Get. Get. Let's get. Okay. Um... It is too dangerous to be in Skyrim at night. I've just taken a bunch of drugs off of a couple of um, total addicts, too, and I don't know what they're going to do when they find out. Let's see. It looks like there's some light over here. Okay. I'm just going to kind of slowly make my way. Is there anybody over there? Um... I was trying to head east a little bit and get on a road, but I think that given the weather and the fact that it's pitch black outside, I'm going to go into Harmugstall. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Well, I am exhausted. I have no magicka and no stamina because the drugs are doing what they do. They have long after effects. Okay. Can I, um... Yeah, I've got my dagger equipped. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to find in here. Now, what I'm worried about is I'm gonna... What was that? Um... There's an adventurer. Okay. He just... Oh, it looked like, um... He just died. Really? Is that spider coming for me? Is, is he... It's, he's, um... Just kind of tap dancing over there. All right. You'll see that my vision is kind of um, black and white. That is a new mod. I've got more informational HUD or information system overhaul, something like this. And anyway, it gets a little bit blurry, as you can see, now that my stamina is very low and my magic is very low, leaching the color out of the world. Shows me how tired I am. This guy got frozen by that spider, it looks like. What's, what is he wearing? I could do with the rusty travel lantern. I mean, pardon me, sir, you just won't be needing any of this. All right, so, got this stuff. Okay, it says, I surely do not have time to change my armor now. Is he coming for me or not? Freaking Skyrim spiders. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to mod configuration and change it so that I can um, change armor during combat. I'm not really going to, but I want to avoid situations where the system thinks that you're in combat and kind of you have a minute of time. All right. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to drop my dagger, though. I have a really big sword now. What is this spider doing? Was there a, was there better armor? Yes. Let me put on my leather armor. Okay. Anything else? Uh, rusty travel lantern. Might as well just have that hanging off my belt loop. Spiders. Big. Big spiders with a freezing attack? I don't understand. I think this little guy's stuck in something. Frostbite spider. Maybe that's why he's freezing things? I thought that was just a name, though. What do we have? Extract venom. Okay. Oh, goodness. So I have this hunterborn menu pulling up. I will um, take just a moment and extract some venom from it. I have venom of a spider now in a little jar. 
I'll use that to make a poison later on. Now, I would love to stay here and just get warm. I wonder if anything is going to attack me if I do, though. All right. Crouching. Moving stealthily. Um. Okay. I kind of wish the world had a little bit of color. I'm warming up nicely, though, I think. Wow, very cold. It's better than freezing. I was freezing while outside. I don't think this is necessarily a better situation. Now, even though I don't have... S oh, there's a spider on the table. Is it dead? Even though I don't have a lot of stamina or magicka, um, I think that I do have a bonus to my two-handed attack from the skooma. What is this? It is. It's a spider that's been, like, dissected on a table. Magic tonic. Potion of flamebane. Deficient. What is in my magic tonic? Magicka tonic. A simple tonic made from very small amounts of moon sugar that gives the drinker a small boost to magic and regeneration. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use anything with moon sugar in it just for the moment. It might be a little overkill. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of tapping. I I take it that that means there's a lot of spiders around here. Oh, that's a gate. Yeah. They don't know I'm here though. No. This is actually okay. What I think I will do is take a little bit and um, I'll have an apple. I'm not going to open up the gate, though. I'm going to rest, eat my food, and get over this skooma before going back out. It's just too dangerous to be screwing around. Okay, we are back, and you can see that color has returned to my world. My magicka is all charged up. I'm over the skooma. I'm over the withdrawal or whatever it was doing to me. Um, stamina still dropping, but that's not because of skooma. That's because I'm really not strong enough to be able to carry this stuff. I mean, look at Mortis. He's kind of a skinny guy. He can't use heavy armor. So I'm going to put my mining shoes back on and we'll proceed. Okay. Now, this is um, a very weird situation to be in. Who does that to a spider and leaves him on a table? And I think you can also hear that there's something tapping. Something scampering, maybe. Behind this wall. Um, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to deal with that. Tripped over a bone. What's in the satchel? Got a lock pick. Nice. I don't know how to pick locks, but whatever. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would somebody like me want to go any further? And the reason is, um, that's what I do. It's how I taught myself to read. Being curious. It's how I made money to begin with. Just going places others won't. That's what Mortis is. He's a bit of a scamp. Okay. Oh, that didn't... What do we have here? Alright. We've opened up, uh, it looks like, two of the spears. Um, and there's going to have to be some combination to get the rest of them open. Right, so... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Catcha, skeever, buyers, toe. Iffy, hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Ta da! <laughs> oh, wait, all of them opened! Oh, oh yeah, yeah! All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo for the win. Let's go. I. 
You know, tell you what, I actually think that I'm going to crouch now that I see that the entire um, interior is covered with bones. What is that? Got spider webs and bones, and that is fresh blood right there against the wall. There's some old blood here on the ground. Um, okay, we're going to take it easy. But I've got my stamina creeping back up slowly, so I will be able to take somebody in a fight or something. It's, um... I don't think it's going to be skeevers, though. Um... I wonder who keeps all of these candles lit. Oh, look at that. Something punched through the wall. I guess we're in an old fort or something, and something punched right through that. Okay. There's a door. Oh, it's locked. Oh, there's... Um... Damn it. This one seems to be locked. I better not even try to open it without some training. These locks are more complicated than one would think. Yeah, I'm just going to break a lockpick. I don't know how to do anything with locks. Uh, let's raid these. Oh, look at that. An iron battle axe. I think I'm going to try that out. Look at that. We've got an iron battle axe, iron dagger of shocks, which does 15 points of shock damage. Nice. Um... And the Iron Battle Axe does more damage than the Iron Greatsword, so that's... That's what I'm gonna use. Aha! Very nice. Very nice. What do we have over here? Journal! Harmogstall's Alchemists. Notes and results. It would seem the smaller specimens cannot survive the infusion process. Application of the serum results in a short burst of elemental energy followed by death. I will have to change the formula before trying again. The larger subjects, however, have taken to the transformation nicely. For now, they are stored away in their pens until I can examine them further. So he's doing experiments on specimens, infusing them with um, elemental energy. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. It's going to be spiders. It's going to be mutant elemental spiders. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Uh, potion of Shockbane. Yeah, the guy was protecting himself against the spiders that he created with his serum. We have an insane alchemist on the loose. Okay. Um, Song of Pelinal. On his madness. Oh, well, that sounds like a book that this guy might like. The Windhelm Letters. Never been to Windhelm. The following transcribed letters were found in a strong box. Okay. Always looking for new reading material. Taught myself to read. Took a lot of work. Now I'm going to go ahead and read. Surviving a Horker attack. In my travels through Skyrim, I've run into many northern fishermen and hunters with intriguing tales of their encounters with Horkers. The stories are varied, ranging from deadly attacks to a girl who claims she was saved from drowning. Okay. As a hunter, I think it's important I read that one. Um, Ancestors and the Dunmer. Oh, I probably know all of this. Used to live in Morrowind. Right. Iron Sword. That does not do as much damage as what I have now, but um, yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Um, so he said that he has the big spiders in pens now. It looks like these might... Oh, there's a... From the... From the ceiling. You can see... <gasps> the bars of the, of the pen just went down. Is that spider glowing? That spider's glowing. Somebody opened up the pen. Or opened up all the pens. Okay, someone... Knows I'm here. Why would why would they know I'm here? Um and they're trying to kill me. Okay. I'm backing up. I am 
Oh! Oh, he shocked me! He shocked me! He bit me! Okay, right. I, um, I want to take some of this potion of shockbane. Yeah! Yeah, this is how your master handles you, isn't it? Yeah? You want to come bite me again? You want to do it? No! Oh. Okay. Yes! That was a mighty blow. Good for me. All right, there's another. What kind of freak makes mutant spiders? I'm gonna kill all of them. There's no reason in Nern to have mutant elementally charged spiders. There's just not. Um. Hello? Are you another science project? Yeah? You wanna you wanna dance? You wanna you just wanna hang out? I don't know. Wanna wanna smoke some skooma? What are you up to? I think you're I think you're just being coy, huh? I think you're just being coy. You wanna be friends? You wanna be Okay. What is he a friendly spider? No, he's not. He's not. He's not. Okay. Got it. Okay. Oh, man. All right. I'm hurt a little bit now. I'm hurt. Um, did I have a potion of healing? Yeah. Okay. I'm just glad that I didn't get poisoned. Sometimes these are poisonous. They can peril. Oh, there's another one. Somebody opened up the pens. I'm not going to fool around with you. You hear me? I'm just going to just rest up for a second. I don't have a lot of stamina, but... Oh, yeah? Oh, you're scared, are you? You want to go back to the pen? That one just... Okay, he's kind of a homebody. I just killed your friends, right? You don't want this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Sometimes, sometimes they just like to be back where they feel safe. Uh, this is the spider pen. We've got a bunch of them here. This one was broken. Oh my goodness. Who was that? A hide shield. I'm not going to cut that webbing open, I don't think. I think I'm fine. Uh, egg sack. I have absolutely no reason to touch that. Right. That is quite a hole in the ceiling, huh? It is bright outside. I'm going to have to... <sighs> It'll be much nicer traveling now that it's daytime. Traveling with my pockets filled with skooma. Moon sugar. I'm going to make so much money off that. Okay. And the Heidi one is just like staying put. Yeah. He's the scared science project. Okay. Going through here. I'll tell ya. Um certainly Certainly these these uh animals had free reign, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. Blocked the whole door off. What kind of person wants to live in a place like this anyway. Yeah, my vision blurred up because I don't have any stamina left. You know, to take a minute. That means that the guy who's back there, the alchemist maybe, he hasn't left. The door was shut with the spider webs. So... Maybe he's not even alive. Pickaxe. Good. Um, it's a little bit to carry, though. Right, I've got my pickaxe, I've got an iron sword, an iron greatsword, iron dagger of shocks, battle axe. I probably don't need all of that, do I? I'm gonna go ahead and drop the greats. Well, that's worth, um, 50 gold, this is worth 35, but... Yeah, let's drop the great sword. Because with this, I can use it with a shield. Do the sword shield thing. Oh, I'm hungry. I didn't have any food, did I? No. Um, 
But I can only uh, use one two-handed weapon, and this is my weapon of choice. Uh, Very sleepy. I didn't sleep much last night due to the party with Urza and B. I bet they are up right now, and they're probably hunting me. They probably want all their drugs. It's a woodcutter's axe. I will take that because it's useful, and I can carry it. Okay. Barrel. Uh, what's in here? Rifle through. Oh, an iron ingot. I don't know how to blacksmith, but I can find some use for that. I don't want uh, a rotten apple. Okay. There's still a lot of tapping from these little spider feet. So I'm crouching here. Make it very gradually. Baked potatoes. These are not rotten. I think I could probably use a bit of food. Baked potatoes. Still hungry, though. How am I doing for warmth? Well, I'm okay. I'm hungry, thirsty, tired, sober, cannot sense the outside weather, but I feel warm. Good. Now, I believe that this is the door that will unlock all the secrets of the alchemist's cave. Let's go in. Vision is blurred. Pardon the hesitation, but Mortis obviously decided to take a little bit more skooma before going in. He's a little bit nervous. He's working up the courage. Oh, he ran into the door. Um, we are inside the mind of Mortis, and he's tweaking. Tweaking on skooma. Let's knock over everything on the table. <laughs> it's been a rough few days, to be fair. And whoever released those spiders before wants Mortis dead. And Mortis isn't going to let that happen. Open the wooden door. Cue the skooma music. We've got our axe out. We're sneaking. In we go. There's the voice. That's the voice of the mastermind. <laughs> now, why would someone need elemental spiders unless he wanted to take over the reach? This is what Mortis is thinking. And he's running. He's going. He's running. Yes. Up. Oh, oh hand-eye coordination fail. It's finished. More test subjects behind the bars. Did I mention, before attacking, Mortis rubbed his axe with spider venom. This freak got a taste of his own medicine. 